Well, on the subject of uh, Vince's issues, uh, John Laurinaitis, again, not at Raw, and it appears that he is also... Uh, I'm not sure what the exact term would be, but he's uh, he's, he's out for the he's, time being. He's um, taking administrative leave, so he's administrative been leave. Yeah, so he's been removed from the position, and Bruce Pritchard is for now the interim head of talent relations, and um, you know how that goes, what it means. I know people who holy are, smokes, this guy's got a lot on his plate. The guy's got a lot on his plate. Uh, you know, a lot of talent, not. Not particularly thrilled by it, but um, you know, there's a lot that's going on there. But it wasn't; it was not a um, not necessarily well received, uh, you know, bit of news. But probably not a shock. I mean, I guess with Bruce, I don't think people expected Bruce to be in that position, but um, he was, and uh, it's which is, which is interesting. You know, well, it is really it is it, incredible. It, 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 it's I mean, not what, even. What, what, well, what I want to make one one comment here very quickly. That okay. if you we were talking about SmackDown, and uh, this seems unrelated, but you know, you had uh, Randy Orton was supposed to be in a big match at SummerSlam, and Randy Orton is now unavailable, and literally they have nothing but to go to Brock Lesnar again. They've got nobody ready for this spot. So they have to go back to Brock. And now here we are. Uh, John Laurinaitis is gone. They've got nobody else to take his spot. We're going to Bruce Pritchard to take his spot as the interim head of talent relations. And he's already got a million things to do. We've all, we've also talked about Vince. Like, if Vince is gone, like, who takes over his role? And the answer is, well, we don't know. They've got nobody ready. It, it, it's actually an amazing story how ill-prepared they are for everything. Yeah, well, another thing about Bruce being the one in this position uh, pretty much tells me that Stephanie's a figurehead, um, you know, as opposed to that. And it's Vince who's making these decisions, you know, as far as, um, you know, uh, putting Bruce in that position as opposed to hiring someone or putting someone else in that spot or whatever. So, uh, I mean, it's, you know, uh, you know, that's that's would be a big surprise for like Nick Khan would that be a surprise no Stephanie yes Vince no so it kind of tells you as far as you know when it comes to like a big move like that it's most likely still Vince making the calls which is no surprise I mean I think that everybody knows that like Vince is going to be the guy making all the big calls right now anyway hey if you're a big fan of wrestling observer radio we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 Audio shows at your fingertips.